It's Sex Tip Tuesday. Today's topic is how to live and make your boobs sexy. So the biggest thing is to know is enjoying your boobs makes you feel confident and also helps you embrace your body. Also loving your boobs boosts your confidence in the sex scene. So of course, depending on your boob size, all plays a role in what you can wear and what you feel comfortable in. I hear a lot of women hate that they can't wear certain things because of their boob size, right? But did you ever just stop and think that maybe it just doesn't also look good on you? So we have all these boob misconceptions, right? Big boobs, little boobs, small boobs, saggy boobs, stretchy boobs, skinny boobs, fluffy boobs, big areolas, small areolas, tiny little nipples, big ass nipples, lots of different boobs out there. Check these out. So I used to be a big member of the Big Titty Committee, <laughs> right? And I used to struggle with things when it came to my boobs. So I was always frustrated because I could never find anything to wear. Um, things always look better on a magazine or in a book than on me. And I struggled with that and it really messed with my confidence when it came to my body. My nickname was Titty Tiff. Main things I used to hate is built-in bra outfits, um, bathing suit shopping, uh, wanting to wear something strapless because who's going to hold up them big old jugs and also just bra shopping and the comfort and making sure that I had support, right? If I knew what I knew now back then, I would have took my time and actually thought about decisions I made when it came to my breasts. Because a lot of us are last minute shoppers, there are not bras for people that are for big breast people for last minute shoppers that are also sexy. So it kind of puts you in the mindset of having to be a planner, right? There are companies out there that actually support big breasted women and make beautiful and sexy bras and undergarments for women with big breasts. A couple online stores that fit big breast women are Adorn Me, Third Love, and Savage Fenty. I have ordered from Savage Fenty. I have friends that have ordered from other ones and they look phenomenal. Check this picture out. Let's go into some tips about what we can do about these big old jugs. First one, last minute shopping has to stop, okay? It's even like with people that have big feet. You're not just gonna walk in the Foot Locker and get you a size 15. You have to order them. Sizing, get sized correctly. Getting sized at Victoria's Secrets when you wear above a D, actually any size bra is really unrealistic. Go to a professional place where you can get sized. Nordstrom's does it. Um, there are other places that will size your boobs correctly and put you in the right bra. Get out of mainstream shops, okay? If you are big breasted, you might have to shop at small boutiques that customize and fit towards your body. Also support small businesses. There are people out here that have the same feeling for you as you and you just need to search so you can find out what to wear. Alterations. These are people that God created to make alterations to our clothes. If you really love something, see if it can get altered. If your boobs are saggy or you just don't feel like they're sexy, dress them up. Guys are visual learners. They love to see us in sexy things. So if you don't think that your boobs look good bareback, put a bra on and pull them out of that. Give your boobs a good old nickname, right? Not something that makes them not make you feel good, but a good name that makes them feel proud that they're your boobs. They're yours. You, you got to keep them. If you are a candidate for a breast reduction, I say go for it. I got one. I felt like it was one of the best decisions of my life, but everyone is not necessarily a candidate. Also, make sure that you do it for the right reasons, because once you get a breast reduction, there's no going back. I got a breast reduction and now they're like not fluffy, fluffy. They no fluff, fluff. Loving your boobs is something that comes with loving yourself. Okay. Okay, for my small, breasty women, right? A lot of you guys might feel like, oh, I don't have enough. I don't feel sufficient. I don't feel like a woman. That is a feeling that only you have. And trust me, the person on the outside is not thinking that. With having smaller breasts, you are allotted more things than big-breasted women. And I think the biggest thing that big-breasted women and small-breasted women have in common is to learn how to accessorize their boobs. Our boobs are accessory to our body. They don't make, they don't break us. They literally add to us, and they necessarily don't subtract. There are all kinds of different women that have big butts, small butts, big waist, little waist, big breasts, small waist, breasts, and we all look good. Like long hair, short hair. It, we all look good, so stop trying to put your breasts in this category that minimizes you as a person. The biggest thing is to have healthy breasts. Are you doing your monthly breast exams? I was guilty and wasn't. 
And then my friend had a scare and we all were like, oh my God, this is important. So make sure that you're doing your monthly breast exams. And if you don't know how to do it, ask a friend or ask your doctor for guidance. It's okay. I have to say this to us women. A lot of women will be like, well, the first thing he sees is my breast. Well, we there's a couple first things that we see, either his wallet, the print in his pants, or what he looks like. So just like how we pointed out to a guy, the same thing is, is attractive to them too, attractive to them. So I asked about 10 to 15 of my friends to tell me three things they loved about their breasts and three things they hated about their breasts. And majority of them had, could choose both on each side. And some of them really just was like, I love my boobs. And some of them were like, I just hate my boobs. What I was trying to show them is, is that there are things that you do love about yourself and you should remind yourself about that on a daily basis. I also reached out to a male friend and asked him, what was a guy's perspective when it comes to what we think about our boobs? And here's what he said. This is just a small reminder to love your body. Big boobs or small boobs, you just have to make sure that you plan for everything. My grandfather used to say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And honestly, that goes with a lot of stuff, including boobies, right? When you get ready to go out for an outfit or, or go out and do something, you want to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row. If you are a big breasted or a small breasted woman and you know that you need extra steps in getting ready, plan for it. Make sure that you've gotten your bra from Third Love, Adorn Me, or Savage Fenty before you try to get something, wear something that's just really not for you. And getting to be a member of the Big Titty Committee and the Smaller Boob Committee, I will say that everybody that is loving these strapless things and, and then the people that are like feel left out because they don't get to wear strapless things, I'm going to tell you this now. With big boobs, some of that stuff just doesn't look good on us. It just, we look top heavy. And, it's, and it, there are things that accentuate our body that we should use to do that instead of trying to conform and be like everybody else. Girl strapless just might not be for you. When it comes to sex, you have to love those things more than anybody loves them. Okay. If, if one thing you want to do is keep your bra on and it's a cute bra and you just pull them out because honestly, when you just pull them out, that little wire keeps them lifted and they look real nice. Trust me. But if there's times where you just want to get fully naked, he's not worried about that. She's not worried about that. They just want them to this, okay? <laughs>